Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Thank you for listening to Season 2 of Seeking the Kingdom Podcast. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Friday morning. We pray that by listening to these podcast sermons, your faith would increase and that we would grow together as one in the body of Christ. God bless. Draw us closer to you, Father. I can have Holy Spirit lay to Anoint me for the service. I pray in Jesus' name. Open our hearts and our minds. Open our eyes to see. Open our ears to hear. And our hearts to receive what the Holy Spirit and what you have to say. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, church. God bless you, choir. You guys can sit down. You want to to, to sit down too? No, you keep playing. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord put on my heart to do like a a series. Then as every Thursday, about the names of God. Some of them we've heard before. I mean, all of them probably we've heard before. But... Chedrago, because we can remind ourselves on Consodel. There's something about a name, and that's the name of the, the series. Joshua, you got it up there? What's in a name? That's the name of the entire series. What's in a name? Because in order to know somebody, you've got to know their name. I mean, you can know them, you can be around them, you can talk to them, but if you don't know their name, you really don't know them. Oh, Chachimos, God doesn't have a name. Ozudovo, he don't say his name. He's so majestic, he's so holy, that he doesn't have a name. Lezudova today, Yahweh. And the Bible motope Jehovah. And these are things that we grasp and we try to understand and we're human. And that's what the names of God do, Paul, Michael, Tati, Billy. They give us an idea of consodil. Santila Sholo. How good is he? And as we learn his name, hopefully we'll grow closer to him. Tonight I want to talk to you about a, a name guy. Busho Elroy. Not Elroy. That's the Jetsons Lakloho. Elroy. Todelis Kana. What's what's amazing is this name was given to him. By a gaji, an Egyptian gaji. There's no place else in the Bible where we see where someone gives him a name. Akacha gaji, from what she experienced in her life, she gives him a name. She's from a place where there's many gods. She's from a place where they don't know Jehovah, Yahweh. But yet, when she experiences God, when she encounters God, when she speaks to God, she gives him this name, El Roy, the God who sees. There's a beautiful scripture on those Psalms. Joshua, you've got that? Picture Scott Moto. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Pengodilkai Dikalpe Amendi, the God who watches over us. Sohachi Sovel. I so hachi glambol te te chiol I can te kukuil. Never, he's always watching over us, always watching over our children. His eyes are always upon us. Never sleeps. You can butivan. You gotta be up for something. You gotta watch. I love to relindri because that's who we are. But Odelo Baro, a Bible motol, he never sleeps, never slumbers. There's another scripture, uh, Odel Del Duma with a king on the Chronicles, on the Purano Testament. I motol is keeping a so he this king made a, an agreement with another king, Kai Chi like Isaradas Odel. I penales Kodel Pinga, Soste, don't you remember the things I did for you? I pon me motol is don't you know that the eyes of God go to and fro? For the eyes of God, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. The eyes of God are looking for those that are committed to Him.
to strengthen. They, the eyes of God are always going back and forth. People lache, people chore, looking for those that are committed to Him who need strength. Chela shomarodel. Chela shomarodel because sorachi lil a time off. He's always watching over us. And that's what brings us to this story by Kachagaji. Kachagaji Bushol Hagar. And if you know her, if you've heard about her, she's the maidservant to Sarah, Abraham's wife. And God made Abraham a promise. And because they try to help God in their promise, because they try to help God with his promise, she got Hagar. And when they found out Hagar was with child and it was going to be a boy, Lazai, a Sarah got jealous and she treated Hagar very mean. I could tell Abraham, it's your servant, you can do with her what you want. I dig some more 16, we'll start at 6. Oh, Moses, oh, not Moses, oh, Abraham, your servant. In your, it's in your hands, Abraham said. Do with her whatever you think is best. And Sarah mistreated Hagar. So she fled from her. Motol, she ran away. I think so, Motol. Then the angel of the Lord, that's Jesus. Before he became Jesus in uh, the body that uh, uh, in Motopi and John, the flesh in John. This is Jesus as an angel. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near the spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road shore. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarah, where have you come from and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, Sarah, she answered. Then the angel of the Lord told her, go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will so increase your descendants that they will be numerous, too numerous to count. Oh, Odel Penazla Kapinga, where are you going? I'm being mistreated, I'm running away. They chorot that she was being treated, they, they, they miserable Kaisaska Chagaji, she was running away. I owe Jesus Penazlaka, go back, just be obedient, and I'll give you a promise as well. Vichira Glati, Avena, as numerous. And that's what we see today when we see the Israelites and the Philistines fighting and the Israelites in the Middle East. That's what we see. Not Philistines, Muslims, Muslims, the Muslims. That's those people. Muslims. When she encountered Jesus, when she saw him, in verse 13. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke, spoke to her. You are the God who sees. In Hebrew, it's called uh, El Roy. You're the God who sees. She buried Jela because she ran away, nobody cared. She Sarah, she Abraham, nobody could care. But Odel les que ya casas pelate. She got in the way. She was just doing what she was told. She didn't say to Abraham or Sarah, let me do this. She was just doing what she was told. And then there she's mistreated. I declazo del pelaco misery. Declazo del pelaco chino. Declazo del pelaco mila. I penas, I'm here. I'm with you. I see you. I daft with a promise. But even we feel mistreated. But even we feel that we're not getting a fair break. But can I tell you, just like a Chagaji, I miss Saimutaz, with all of our hearts, God sees us. Kachagaji Pendaz, when she encountered Jesus, this is the name I give. God sees me. Janas, God sees us. Whenever we're in trouble, whenever we're trying to run away from our problems, whenever we're trying to get away from that which is mistreating us, Tejanaz. God sees us. He is El Roy. And though Exodus 3 and uh, uh, chapter 3, Sakada, 
Saka that later on, Barilele Manusai, they found themselves in Egypt. I, not because, Sak, the same as this Gaji, not because they wanted to be there. Most of them was born there. They didn't have a choice. They found themselves in Egypt. I think she's called chapter 3, 6 and 8. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. At this Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt and I have heard them cry out because of their slave drivers and I am concerned about their suffering. Chilla <laughs> Shodil. Pinga, I'm concerned about their suffering and I've seen Sokarolinga Mugaduzmai. So I've come down, Muto, to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them out of the land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Pinga, I've come down to lovely Anakadopleso. I've come down because I've seen. Odell declares on a pesco rayo, he's seen their suffering. I penas chimikavkada. Chibadi jela. God sees the major things. He sees the major things in life. Declares a Hagar being mistreated. Even though she had no choice in the matter. I declare Kakala Gajen, even though they had no choice in the matter. Declare Bari Jela, they need to be set free. They need a promise. They need to be blessed. I Sakada, Joshua, put up Romans 5 and 8. Dig Sakandazo del Viaminga, because even though we don't understand it, before we chose him, he chose us, Motole Bible. We love him because he loved us. He's seen us. He's seen us. I jangles tu san o manus kailes tu palaleste, and he seen you. Dixumoto, but God demonstrated His love for us, and while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. When you and I were at our worst, that despis kashaves. You know why? Because He seen that we need a Savior. He was El Roy. He didn't stop being the God who sees with Hagar. He didn't stop being the God who sees with the Egyptians. He's today the God who sees. The major thing that we needed, we didn't choose to be sinners. We were born into sin. We were flesh. But Odell Penaz, I will come down and rescue them. I'll give them a new spirit. I'll give them a born again relationship mansa. A new creation, Tiavin. Because I see. How many are glad that God saw the major thing that we needed? Amen. But this is the awesome thing about our God. He not only sees the major things, Joshua. Paul, he sees the little things. As we go through life, he sees the little things we need. Savior. Because we were being uh, the slave drivers, or Duzmanos has a slave driver, or Bezach's slave driver. I would declare that Chebari Jela, but he even sees the small things. Matthew 29, uh, Matthew 10, I'm sorry, Matthew 10, 29. 31 so beautiful are not two sparrows sold for a penny two sparrows and the on the look motto five sparrows are not these two sparrows sold for a penny yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of God your father. Pinga, not one of them falls to the ground without God seeing, without God knowing, without God being there. Not one sparrow that's worth half of a, a, a penny, not one sparrow, chirikli, chipiril, without God seeing, without God knowing. 
and even the very hairs on your head are all numbered not counted numbered Chi Janelle you have 75 million hair no Wo Janelle when number 7404 fell your hairs are numbered Moto Che body jella God sees even the little sparrows that fall so don't be afraid 31 you are worth more than many sparrows God sees that and you're worth so much more than that where's God well I want you to know tonight when you leave these doors that God sees he knows he's on your side He's God, He's El Roy, the God who sees. And when you leave here tonight, the Jean is that He's always watching you, He's always taking care of you, His eyes are always on you. And the Hebrews, Dixon, Moto, Hebrews 4 and 13. Moto, nothing is hidden. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before His eyes of Him whom we must give an account. Hang on, nothing is outside of his sight. Everything is laid bare before him. I got this little saying, Kaimotav Paul. That can be your friend or that can be your enemy. Oh, Instagram. Could be your friend, could be your enemy. Le buchaka karaz, sometimes o divano kaipenas could be our friend, could be our enemy. The people we hang around with sometimes could be our friend, sometimes. Kako divano that he sees everything. It's to our benefit that he's watching us, but also he sees everything. He sees my unforgiveness. He sees my bitterness. He sees my rebellion. Nothing is laid, nothing is hidden outside of his sight. Everything is laid bare. But he also sees my misery. He also sees my being mistreated. He also sees my chino, nikazo. He also sees me when I'm tired. He also sees me when I think I can't make it. He's the God who sees everything. Are you glad because He sees? Are you glad because He's El Rohi? He's the God who sees. Billy, He's the God who knows everything. The things that you can't explain to your family, the things that you can't explain to no one else, He sees. Sarka Chagaji, she had no other choice but to run away. But Jesus saw. Aviages, Aviages, like Hagar, he sees. But here's the question tonight. We've established tonight that God's eyes are on us. We've established that his eyes are always on us. He never sleeps, never slumbers. He's watching always, going through and fro the world. Not even a sparrow falls without him seeing or knowing. His eyes are always on his people. He sees and he cares. But here's the question. Where are my eyes? Where are my eyes? If I know tonight that he's always watching me, he's always looking at me, that's the purpose of Bible study. That's the purpose of church. To apply something to our lives it's great to know that God and that's true he's the God who watches who sees us he's the God who sees us but I here's the question where are my eyes are my eyes on him because if my eyes are on him I'm not looking to anything else to satisfy I'm not looking anything to anything else to love me revenge or to love me uh, no I'm looking to him did you squad more on the Hebrews Hebrews 12 and 2. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Bible motto, set your eyes on him. Set your eyes on Jesus because he's the one that's going to see us through. Jesus. 
He's the author and the perfecter of our faith. Tadas peskoducho to see us through. And as long as our eyes are on Him, as long as our eyes are on Him, we'll see how His eyes are on us. We'll experience His love. We'll understand His peace. We'll know His touch. So what that is, we go through these doors. I will stay stehara. They will stay stehara. They will stay stehara. That God is the God who sees you. I do them at devla. May my eyes always be on you. May my eyes always be fixed on you. Kodo divano fixed comes from the divano crosshairs. Can't get it because on the rifle, I lay crosshairs just to get focused. Got attributed the caspodel. Because when we focus on something else, we fail. When we focus on something else, we start to believe that God doesn't see us. We'll think about the troubles in the world start to get in the way. People, thoughts, and Maria Ka starts to focus on something else. And that's when we start to think that God's eyes are not on us. No. He never sleeps, never slumbers. He's always watching over His people. Always watching for those who He can strengthen, who are committed to Him. Are we committed to keep our eyes on Him? Amen. Amen. We thank you. We thank you for being the God who sees. Thank you for always watching over us. Thank you, God, for You see even the small things, Devla. You saw, Devla, the major need that we needed. We needed a Savior, and you came down to rescue us. And Devla, in that, in that salvation, you see even the small things. Lord, nothing gets by you. Your eyes are forever on your people. Thank you. Akana devla muho hujimos. Then love Maria kapatuti. Devla, help me to fix my eyes upon you. Devla, that I would never stray or never, Devla, look towards something else for help. But I always, Devla, always to lift up my head. And Devla, te dikav pugayo. I te janav katara bel mugazor. From the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, tonight we just thank you. Now, vas de chavas, vas de chavas, and receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May He show you His favor, and may He give you His peace. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. God bless you, church.